Hello, and welcome to Rose Play Season 22, Episode 113. As always, I'm your host, Orin Moonrose, and today we're going to let's play of Final Fantasy 16 on the Final Fantasy difficulty. So last time we solved our brother's quest, only to get asked again by our brother to help out Jill, which is good because Jill's the other character that we need uh, for the, uh, so we can have a full party to do the rest of these side quests, but so that we can complete the one quest to work our way back to Ultima. Because yes, I want Ultima's weapon. That's what I meant. Not work our way to Ultima. That's our end goal anyway, but to work our way to the ultimate weapon, Ultima weapon. Okay, that's nice, but... just a tad bit confusing when I put it that way, but Sorry, Clive. we can fix it. No worries. There's no weapon spared. What do we do now? We search for a way. We keep looking. Exactly. Hansel cannot be the only place where snow daisies grow. Perhaps you think? It's the only place I know of. You of? Then why not ask someone who might know of another? Someone at the backyard. To the hideaway, then. We were just there. That's where we started. I mean, I don't care, but it's like. Heck, really? <laughs> Couldn't I have asked around a little bit before looking there, just in case? Let's hope one of the gardeners knows where to find snow daisies. Nope. Probably not. Oh, well, first I have to be smarter than the hideaway. Which, when I can't be smarter than an animate piece of land, then I, uh, have a problem. Hello, Mr. Gardner. Oh, what brings you down from the heavens, sick? Oh, Mrs. Gardner. your advice. Joshua and I are looking for a place where snow daisies grow. Preferably in abundance. I can make you some, Snow sir. Daisies. Then you'll want somewhere not too hot and not too cold. And where the winds are strong enough to carry the seeds. Uh, I reckon man's... So it's be gotta be... To start. There in the Royal Meadows. Close, huh? Both have similar climbs and the right elevation. If the Blight hasn't claimed them yet. Right. Let's hope for the best. Thank you. Did you learn where we might find our flowers? Maybe. The gardener here mentioned the Royal Meadows in Sambrak. Ah, the fields beyond Northreach. Well, if that's the case, then Yote was right. I recall that she kept the record of our travels, you see. So I asked her if she'd perhaps noted anywhere that snow daisies grew, and she mentioned Oilerfeist Bay. Whose shores border the meadows. Off we go, then. All right. Search for snow daisies in the royal metal meadow meadow. Uh, I was like, what? Oh, for a second, I was like, what? Well, I mean, Northreach is, ironically, where I need to end up to get the quest to unlock the bounty that unlocks the final dark steel. The garrison is threatening to pull but, um, not where I wanted to go just yet, not without Jill at the very least. I saw the captain just now. Because he handed it in. Yeah, not a surprise there. Wait. Can I just... Aw, sad fish. I mean, I see there's a door, but still, sad fish. Mm. 
Yeah, the problem is getting there now. I see you, Mr. Items. I, I don't know what I just heard, but please, I don't want to hear it ever again. All right. Because it sounded like a gobolan. But that can't be right. Oh, no, oh, it is. Okay. They're over there talking like Don or Duck, I guess. Whatever. You guys do you, I suppose. I'm gonna continue to, uh... Collect items and stay away from people. What I do best. I think it's up at the top. That's where I remember it. Hey, look! The ah snow daisies, and unfortunately, enemies. Yeah, it's fine. We got this. We're like four, five, six, seven. We're like five levels ahead of them. I do. Uh, I was like, I don't think I can get those. Well, what's left of our friends at the very least. Nice. Uh, what's going on? That wasn't all of them, was it? Oh, goody, a Minotaur. What level be you at? Oh, 83? You're going to come back around for a second run, aren't you? Oh, guess not. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I am all right with that. <laughs> yeah, you try that. See how it works. Uh, okay, good. There's a stun. I was like, wow, we are not doing good at stunning something. Well, that did kind of hurt. That's fine, though. I mean, I'm going to say, unless there's another enemy, I think we're good just to keep it. There we go. I think we still got this guy. And even if we don't... Oh! More enemies! Okay, welcome to the club, guys! Come die! We just gotta kill your, uh... Leader. I may not be a leader, but... That almost hurt me really, really badly. I'm really glad he got that out before the tackle. So now we got to... Okay, we'll finish him while he's running. <laughs> oh, ouch. Poor guy never knew what was coming. He's like, tackle! Oh, in the back. You suck. Yeah. Sometimes. Awesome. 
Awesome, awesome. Was harder than I expected. Little bit. For snow daisies, at least. I mean, it's kind of what I expected in general. But found her. It was worth it. They're beautiful. Jill will love it! Do you think Jill will like them? She'll love them. Come on. Let's go. We gotta go get Jill. They call her Jill of the Snow Daisies, darling. Oh, are we just going on our own now? I don't have to teleport back to the city to get her or anything? Just... Okay. I mean, if it, if it works, it works. It appears my work is done. The rest, as they say, is up to you. Well, well time to screw it up. You and the skies. We wouldn't want another thunderstorm now, would we? Nope. Promises? So, will I have to go back there with Jill, or... Return to the hideaway and speak to Jill. Yeah, who I assume is still up in my chambers. But that's fine. Jill, there's something I'd like to show you. There is? And where might this something be? Somewhere. It's, it's a surprise. Not here. Now, I know this is <laughs> it's sudden, but... It's not here. I mean, she's just going to take it as a date, which, I mean, you guys, I think, did consummate your uh, relationship, so... Yeah... so many this is what you wanted to show me yes I, I, I don't know what to say that you're important to me you, to you don't have to say anything the smile on your face is enough we've been worried about you god I want to sing another song sure I. do you remember when I took you to man's hill or oh. Try to. That's the more important thought. <laughs> Try to. You saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift my spirits. In the end, it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding from your mother. Yeah, well, nobody cared about what my mother thought anyway. I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my marriage prospects with some of the noblewomen at court. Because they didn't want you to marry me, or...? It would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high houses instead of saving me for the ducal line. Well, screw them. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. I was nothing to them. A pawn at best. I felt so trapped. So lonely. Hopefully, Dad didn't think that way. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. You were there. Your hand in mine as we ran Aww. through those boats. And I knew then, no matter what happened, I would be all right. That's sweet. I'll never forget that feeling. That is also very sweet. Hi, Toggle. Good boy. Ah, yes, a crown to sit upon my head. Before we broke camp, <sighs> the morning after the storm, do you know what I did? What was that? No. Made that, I'm assuming? I slipped away from my governess to climb the tour. And from there I saw a sea of petals, all reaching for the sun. And I realized that 
No matter how terrible the night, dawn would always come. I mean, that kind of is a Batman quote there. The night before the dawn is something. I don't remember. It'll probably be the name of the episode, honestly. I'll probably do the Batman quote because it sounds right now for this. You have. Again and again. And I will always try to. Where do you see us? When all this is over? I don't know. Not here, though. I think I've outgrown the twins. That's fine. After everything we've been through, the realm just seems so small. Well, that's because it Morning is. Space. We have... Spread my wings. I mean, you can kind of fly. I mean, we have other continents, although I, from the sound of it, everything's covered in the blight right now, except for this little pieces of continent. Aww. And I'll stop at nothing to see that you do. There you go, good man. Woo! I never was much good at garlands. But it'll have to do. Oh, anything you make for me, I'd be happy with. I'll treasure it forever. Thank you, Clive. Such a sweet this, moment, though, seriously. Flowers, but everything. It's exactly what I needed. You are my treasure. Aw, and you mine, is what Clive is thinking, for sure. That would be an awesome video cover, but I doubt it's going to do it there. <laughs> we should probably be getting back. I expect the others are wondering where we are. I expect the others to kind of piece it together. There's still much to do. And we'll do it together. Yes, now that you won't leave my side. Quest complete. Not bad. Shiva's kiss. That's cool. Snow Daisy Garland. All right, so that really only leaves one place to go, and I am completely fine with that. A new quest line, Echoes of the Fallen, is now available. Oh, so I'd unlock her anyway to get Echoes to unlock. I mean, I'm not ready for echoes at all. We're just gonna travel to Northreach. It's literally right there. We'll get the quest started at least, finish it next episode, and hopefully do the bounty either that episode or the, the next next one. From the markets if we don't cooperate. I would speak with this Jew. Okay, there you guys are. I was I was just a little bit worried, honestly. Okay, so we need to unlock them so that we could do Echoes of the Fallen. I mean, it kind of just worked out, honestly. Do you have a moment, Clive? Always. Is it? It's the Duke, unsurprisingly. Of His course. Eminence has assumed full control of the garrison and put every able-bodied man to work on the fortifications. The town was left all but unguarded, so oh, Felix no. was compelled to form a citizen's watch to fill the void. And though my dear boys have been characteristically willing to assist him in this, they want for bodies. Of course so they I do. I was wondering if you would lend them your strength. Always. The people of Northreach might sleep easier, if only for a few nights. We got you covered. Of course. Under new management. Thank you, Clive. 
What would I do? Alright, so we got the first DLC unlocked. The told me he had men Out of two. Where can I find the mistress of this establishment? A oh, wonderful. Here, to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? My name is Sabine. And it is my displeasure to be the daughter of the Duke of Oriflam. <laughs> well, somebody doesn't seem to like their father. I wish to speak to you about what might be done. Very well. Could kick your father out. I speak. I trust you'll forgive me, Clive. Absolutely. Our conversation can wait. Please. Proceed. As you know, my father is a most overbearing and supercilious man, and I join you in objecting to his every action. I mean, Indeed, I yeah. Thanks for continuing to argue against his reckless plans. Yet I fear he is not one to be swayed by reason. So you want to be swayed by force? I don't like that he idea either. To face the consequences of his actions. What the heck does that mean in this day and age? Yes. I would. Myself and several other like-minded individuals. Were you to join us, we would surely have the strength to drive him from Northreach for good. How does that make us any better than him? Drastic. Drastic action is precisely what is called for. Unless you are content to see your people downtrodden and dispossessed. My father would have it that citizens exist only to serve the Empire. Yeah, what a surprise there. To make every sacrifice to ensure her revival. But he is wrong. It is not the people who must serve the Empire, but the Empire who must serve her people. I suppose. He's always been like this. Scornful of the opinions of anyone he judged beneath him. But he cannot be allowed to ride roughshod over the common folk any longer. Maybe. We must fight him. By all possible means. I mean, I, I feel like we're doing one extreme to the other, honestly. My purpose is to quell the tension in Northreach. Not to stoke it. Respect I've got to agree with this. Lady. Our only chance of saving this town depends upon every one of us uniting against our common enemy. Your father and his followers included. While I understand your frustrations, I cling to the hope that he may yet be one round. False hope, I assure you. Let's hope but not. I that your mind is made up. I shall bother you no longer. If you will extend me the same courtesy. I uh, maybe you... Seem problematic. Indeed. But unfortunately for us, that spirit is only likely to harden the Duke's resolve. Yeah. Be enough to seal the fate of this town. Not that she cares. See, I felt like one extreme to the next is not how we solve something. Families. I'm sorry. Where were we? Ah, we were yes. gonna help. I was about to tell you of Philippe's plans for the town watch. But perhaps it's better that you heard them from him. I believe he's in the market, if you'd be so kind as to seek him out. Of course! Might be the last thing we do for this episode. I'd like to see the two of you in action together. I bet you would. I bet you would. Alright, let's go ahead and find him. We'll talk to him, maybe, and probably leave it there for this episode. Oh, what does the dame have to say about all this, I wonder? So you are content to abandon the people to their... Oh, God, she's here, Please, too. Yeah, this will be the last thing we do. True son of Northreach, you must fight to defend your home. I am, he That's is the exactly best way. What I am doing, milady, or trying to. Good man. The land is crawling with fiends, and someone has to keep watch. Even when our true enemy is hiding in the garrison, fine. You're not the only able-bodied man in Northreach. Thank you oh, so God. much for your help. Boy, she is not doing so great, is she? She cornered you too, then. Could hardly get a word in edgeways. I noticed. Like father, like daughter, eh? She made yeah, of the opposite, opposite ends. Here, hoping to convince the Dane to join her in fermenting rebellion. <laughs> I bet that went well. Her ladyship seems to have a way with people. 
Yeah, anyway, not a good one either. You here? Uh, well, you. Friend thought you might welcome some help. Oh, she did, did she? She did. Right as always. In fact, you're just a man. Oh, how so? Some reports, you see, sightings of, uh, you know what? Not really. It could be a Keshik. It could be Seems thieves. Like it could be well, thralls. We haven't been able to confirm anything yet, but if you're willing, you could go and see what's what. Yeah, I can do that. Next episode, though. You know, Grieger's Weep. One of the sightings places them. I probably do, but I don't remember. I'm on my way. Thank you, Clive. I'll look into one of the other sightings. Let's rendezvous back here later. All right. I mean, I guess I don't remember that, but yeah, sure, we can do that. All right. Awesome. We almost have, yep, I know. We almost have Ultima's weapon. Hopefully by the end of next episode, we might be able to get it. I don't know 100%, but it never hurts to know for sure, right? So, until next time, remember... Keep gaming. Never give up. And whatever the Batman quote is, yeah, I, I think it works here.